Oh, I mean, what y'all thought I won't go and come back to Mr. Nightmare? Y'all already know what time it is, man. Yo, what it do? SRT Gang. It's your boy with the fat swaggy reacts. And we are back with another reaction video, man. And shout out to Mr. Nightmare, bro. We back on the Mr. Nightmare rabbit hole, man. We about to dig dive deep back into these videos, man, because I know it's a lot of content that we out there, I mean, that's out there or whatever like that we missed, but we about to get back on the ground, bro, as you guys see, I'm back to the old setup, but it's all good, because we're going to get like right back to the green screen and all that for y'all for the next couple videos, man, but today we're going to be checking out Scary Guns videos caught on, um, on my ring cameras part three, so like, share, comment, subscribe, gang, I'm trying to get to 50k, so subscribe to the channel, I'm less than 100 away. Less than a hundred. So I'm um, gonna go ahead and get me there. So without further ado, man, let's go ahead and check this thing out. Shout out again to Mr. Nightmare, man. Let's get into it. This is a part three to the scariest things caught on doorbell cameras. And once again, by the end of the video, you may consider getting one yourself. In this footage that a viewer sent me, a person can be seen crouch walking towards his front door through his doorbell camera. The person was wearing a hat, face mask, and sunglasses, allowing none of his face to be seen. I don't got time for this. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Like, that's why, like, bro, it's a sensor. Every time somebody go past my joint, anything, it already pops up on the camera, bro. Like, if y'all got one, good for y'all. If y'all don't got one, invest in one. I'm telling y'all. After trying to open the front door and failing, the person starts to fiddle with the doorbell, noticing it's a video doorbell, so he probably tries to take it off. What likely happened was that when he realized that he couldn't get the doorbell unmounted without a special screwdriver, he started to hold his hand in front of the camera after ringing the bell. The viewer told me that this happened at 2 in the morning, and so oh, when nah. he heard his doorbell and ring notification morning? go off, he instantly nah. went to his phone to check. Nah, like, and that's how I already know something is up, because for one, ain't nobody in my family not even gonna come around that time without calling. Somebody just randomly, like, ringing my doorbell, I'm not even getting out the bed. Check who was at the door, only to see exactly what you're seeing. The man then walks past the doorbell to the side of the house, and by this point, the homeowner was on the phone with 911 reporting the incident. While on the phone with 911, the homeowner heard the doorknob to the side entrance door being fiddled with, and this was a door that he had been known to leave unlocked accidentally from time to time. Well, However, see, luckily no, 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 no. on this- so How you accidentally leave a door unlocked? I unlock every single door that, you know what I'm saying? Like, especially coming from outside, I lock it right behind me every time. It's just a habit for me. I don't see how people just, like, just leave their door unlocked. And this was a door that he had been known to leave unlocked accidentally from time to time. However, luckily on this night, that wasn't the case. Since the intruder couldn't simply walk in through either door, he started to say hello repeatedly through the door, in an off-putting tone that sounded so overly friendly that it was creepy. The 911 operator told the homeowner not to open the door or to even acknowledge the person. The person would then start to bang on the door for a few moments until seemingly giving up. The police showed up, but couldn't help out much based on the video. Later that night, the homeowner received another notification that there was movement at his front door. When he checked the video feed, he couldn't see anyone. He still has no idea who was under that mask and glasses. Ain't no telling, bro. You could wait all night for an email response from Steve, who will sign back in at... This following footage was also captured by a viewer's doorbell camera at their old house, which is still active while he tries to sell it. One morning at around 4.30 a.m., his cameras detected a man running from across the street from his neighbor's home, across his front yard, and up to his front door. The man was naked, with one of his hands blocking his privates. What the hell is going on, bro? The footage was caught from two angles. He was arrested a short while later by local police and was apparently high on crystal meth. And he had removed wow. his clothing due to a fear of snakes being inside of his clothes. And he was running around the neighborhood knocking on doors and ringing doorbells yelling for help. The Bro, like, 
like, like, like, kids, if y'all watch this, don't do drugs, bro. Cocaine is one hell of a drug. Crystal meth is one hell of a drug. Just don't do drugs, man. Like, like, drugs will have you doing random shit like this, just running around at 4 a.m. in the morning, butt, butt, butterball naked. The neighborhood is reportedly pretty quiet. The homeowner never had any sort of issues before this. In his words, he ran up my front yard onto my front porch and rang the doorbell. For the next minute or so, he was ringing the doorbell and knocking while pacing back and forth. He looked panicked, and his expression drifted from someone in pain to a look of pure crazy, and at one point said he needs help. After that, he ran off back into the night. The guy was picked up by an officer around 5 a.m. not far from his house. And this footage is why you always check who's at your door before you open it, especially if you have a doorbell camera. If someone who you don't know shows up to your door late at night, don't open it. Unfortunately, in this video, that's exactly what this homeowner did. Around 10 p.m. one night, a suspicious-looking hooded man approaches the front door of a random house rather quickly and aggressively, and he right away tries to open the door. After realizing it's locked, he goes to ring the doorbell. Disappointingly, the homeowner opens the door rather quickly instead of checking who's at his door at this hour first. See, see, like this is where this guy fucked up already. Like you just run, you just open the door. Like it has to be he clearly is in a is in a neighborhood that's you know clearly no crime happens because any other person would have definitely like looked at their door first. Like who the hell is knocking at my door at this you know t hour? You get what I mean? Like come on, bro. He just opened the door. Like oh shit. Hello. Hi. How the hell are you, sir? Who are you? Everybody knows how to raise you. Good. You need to leave. How far? Out there. What's the stairs? What? What's the stairs? Come on, before you Get go. Get him out of What's there, the bro. Goodbye, you. People, bro. Ain't no way, man. The homeowner was likely too trusting a person, which put him in danger. Even his initial hi to the stranger at his door sounded overly friendly, considering the man was already creeping in the second the door was opened. Right. Hello. Hi. The homeowner pushes the man out, causing him to punch the glass of the door before it's even fully closed. The man then stands there for another minute or so, fiddling with the doorknob a few times, though the rest of the footage is cut off. The dialogue is near impossible to completely make out, but it seemed the man was under the influence of drugs or alcohol was likely attempting to burglarize the home. The homeowner called the police, but the man was gone by the time they arrived. It's unknown if he was found. Like, I mean, the homeowner just better be happy that he he even, like, he got him out as quick as he did, because if he had a weapon, anything like that, he could have used that against you, bro. He could have stabbed you, shot you, whatever. Like, just to get into your house, bro. Like, come on, man. Come on, man. Gone by the time they arrived. You gotta think, man. It's unknown if he was found. <sighs> this image was posted from the owner of a ring camera and a face. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. If I see some shit like this at my door, bro. Oh, yeah, bro. You're catching a few hot ones. Halloween or not, my guy. <laughs> you about to catch a few of them. I'm not even playing with you. What? A group to caution others. The woman warned in her post to beware a strange man wearing a white mask lurking around the neighborhood Hell after no. her camera caught him trying to look into her home a little after 10 p.m. one night. The woman said, I just want my neighbors to be aware and safe. Please, if possible, share this post. Screenshots are welcome. Not sure what colors he was wearing, but had a hoodie and jeans on. Oh, bro, the disturbing picture shit. shows the man that's in the mask weird. looking directly. Bro, just look at this picture and just imagine y'all just, just, just seeing this at like two o'clock in the morning bro like, into the camera this is exactly the type of image that you'd never want or expect to see come up on your doorbell camera footage right but it's also the kind of image that would make you sure as hell grateful that you had one neighbors of the woman also reported seeing the man walking around and approached their front doors thankfully no one opened the door to him Annie Hi. had an earring no on a here. weekend. Oh, of course. Hey. So they dropped by Minute Clinic at CVS, where Annie got checked. 
got a prescription, <sighs> and got essentials in one place. Or see us online. Hi. Minute Clinic at CVS. On May 1st, 2020, around 9.40 p.m., around the beginning of the COVID lockdown, a 45-year-old dad, Raymond Hawkins, opened the door to who he believed to be a delivery driver dropping off a parcel. Due to new methods of delivery at the time because of COVID, the alleged delivery driver backed away from the front door to supposedly keep his distance and claimed he needed to take a picture of the package at the doorstep, something many delivery drivers must do for more expensive packages. At this time, the father had his guard down due to the fact that he had no idea the man in front of him wasn't a delivery driver, and that he was in fact part of a gang that was about to storm into his house, all of whom armed with knives. Yo, what? Four guys just ran up. Yo, wait. All of whom armed with knives. Christopher Sargent, the fake delivery driver, lunges at Raymond with a knife and attacks him when he goes to pick up the package, while three other masked men follow from behind. Muffled cries come from the house, as there's a struggle between Raymond, his wife, and the robbers. The robbers are only in the house for a few moments before being seen fleeing the house with thousands of dollars worth of items. Raymond and his son suffered non-life-threatening injuries, while his sons were described to be worse. Yo. Two of the culprits would be arrested. Anthony Lascelles and Christopher Sargent, who were both charged with aggravated burglary and possession of a knife. The other two culprits were never found. What? One thing that can be learned Wait, from... So, so what happened to the guy that, that was still in the house? Did he get out? Or, or, well, he had to get out. Like, they said that they were never found. Like, but like, what the freak? Because only three left the house. It, it, and it, like, it was four that entered. You get what I mean? Because the guy said, oh my God, he has Larry. So, possession of a knife. The other two culprits were never found. One thing that can be learned from a lot of these videos is that some people will go to crazy lengths to trick one activated bird to be arrested life threatening injuries, while his sons were described to be worse. Two of the culprits would be arrested. Anthony Lascelles oh, and Christopher. Their two people not. will go to crazy lengths to trick other people. The major red flag in this case was that the supposed delivery was taking place at 9 40 p.m which is way past the time any notable delivery company will deliver packages, usually the latest being 7 p.m. Mm. Wow, I didn't On know April that. 10th, 2020, this was the footage taken by the ring doorbell of a viewer's friend Kayla in a small California town. Kayla was being stalked by her crazy former friend Thomas who became obsessed with her over time and would constantly express his alleged love for her despite her telling him numerous times that she didn't feel the same way. The week that this footage was taken, Kayla was bombarded with texts and voicemails from Thomas. And as you can see if you care to pause the video and read some of the texts, it starts with what seems to be Kayla accepting his apology for his behavior. However, as the texts and voicemails just keep coming in, she begins to realize how crazy he may be. What you're about to hear are some audio clips from different voicemails he's left on her phone after she had stopped answering him. Hey, Kayla. Uh, listen, I just... I want to make sure you're not too worried about what happened at the party last week. I had an amazing time, and I think, God, I think you're goddamn beautiful. And I, 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 I'm sorry I got so sick. I wanted to come be with you while you were getting ready, and I was just so totally out of it, and I'm sorry. Okay, so this is a case of a, of a friend just catching feelings, you know what I'm saying? Like, he like, really likes her, and she don't want to take it to that level. 
So, like, at that point, uh, like, this guy just have to just deal with it. Just stay on a friend's level. She don't want to be with you. But there's certain guys like that that just can't take no for an answer. So they got to, like, go and do something or just show them that, um, I mean, how much the other person means to them. This, that, that, and you don't have to do that. It's someone out there for everyone, bro. You just have to just go and find that person, bro. If Kayla isn't that person for you, someone's out there for you, my guy. That's all I'm saying. But just don't do this. Like, it, then it makes you look weird and it makes you... Like, and it push, like, women away from you at this point. Like, this nigga's crazy. Like, what does he do? You know what I mean? Like, come on. While you were getting ready, and I was just so totally out of it, and I'm sorry. God, I think I might love you, and I'm sorry. And I, I'm going to give you some space. I want to be there for you and be there for you, and I can't get you out of my fucking head, and I want to be there for you. God damn it. So fucking God damn it. And all I can do is think of you and want to be with you. And I want to be with you. I want to be your Flynn Rider and I want to be everything to you. God damn it, babe. You're fucking amazing. You are amazing. You're my knight in shining armor. And I'm so fucking terrified of you. And I'm, God, I love you so much. Crazy. So much. Please call me back. Crazy, no, I lied. I'm not going to give you some space. I'm sorry. I'm coming over. I know you're up and thinking about me. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, Talking, God, I'm not sorry. God, I'm coming over. Fucking, I'm already driving. I'm driven driving the whole time. God damn it, God damn it, I'm coming over. Talking, I'm not gonna give you space. I know you called me back. I saw that. Yep, I know you're up thinking about me. God, God, God damn it. Oh, God damn it. I'm coming over. One way or another, I'm coming over. Talking, whatever, however, whatever. God, I'm coming over. I'll see ya. I'll be there in like 10 minutes or whatever. I'm in whatever. I'll come out right now. Damn it. I'll see ya. Bye. I love you. See, at this point, yeah, you just got to get a restraining order on, on this nigga. Like, this nigga is just wildin', bro. Like, who are you to just be popping up at people's cribs, bro? See, that? So this is why they be getting their ex-boyfriends or whoever to beat up people like y'all, bro. Because y'all just don't. You don't get it. Rough road. Oh, it's a rough road. Fuck you, Kayla. I, I, I am fucking crazy. God damn it. Fuck you. I'll drive into the field. God damn it. Things like that. Huh? Fuck you. Fuck you, Kayla. I am goddamn crazy. I'm crazy for you. God damn it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it for you. I am crazy. personalities do this nigga get he mad he he's angry like 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 he's calm now like this nigga's yo anything for you anything for you i'll settle you go and sell my phone is dying anyway my phone is dying anyway i'm still gonna drive by your house in the middle of the night though and i dare you not to have your blinds open to check i'm crazy maybe you'll never know if i did it i'll do it i'll do it the footage of him showing up to Kayla's house was right after one of his phone calls saying he's coming over, even though it was clear by this point she wanted nothing to do with him. Eventually, Kayla and her friend Ravon would find out that Thomas wasn't even his real name. His real name is Matthew. He'd been using the fake name no. Thomas Castle, which was a reference to the Marvel character The Punisher. Thomas was a reference to Thomas Jane, the second actor to play The Punisher, and Castle was a reference to Frank Castle, The Punisher's last name. The fact alone that he had been using a fake name with his friend and supposed Jeez, love of his life was already a huge red flag, and maybe right. a sign that he was hiding something in his life. The ring footage was taken at 2 in the morning, and after leaving, he would go on to send some more texts, which would progressively get angrier. Four days after this footage was taken, Kayla and her friend went to the police and filed for a restraining order. Just he left right. her alone See, about a month or so know. after the restraining order was put into place. Kayla blocked his number and blocked him on social media, and reportedly he basically disappeared from the world, and no one knows where he is now. Yeah, like, salute to Kayla, man, for getting this weirdo out of here, bro, with the restraining order, because once you get the law involved, like, majority of the, of the guys, majority of them, I'm not saying all of them, 
but majority of them do leave you alone, man. So shout out to Kayla. Like, this could have got crazy because this guy is clearly not right in the head, bro. But, like, you know, hopefully he moved on and and, and cleared his head and actually found the girl that he was actually looking for that's going to deal with his crazy ass because... <laughs> Cause yeah, yeah, that dude was crazy, bro. Shout out to y'all, man. Tell me how you guys feel about the video, man. Make sure you guys are tuned in tomorrow when I drop another one. I'm about to get back on these Mr. Nightmare videos and just start giving you guys more scary hour, man. Cause I know you guys been waiting for them, man. Like, share, comment, subscribe, gang, and S R T gang. I am out this thing, man. Get it.